What's up everyone? T Sparky here with another project for you. Uh, today we're going to be making some roof rack bars uh, for the camper top on my truck. So these are going to be the bars that go from left to right, uh, from track to track, and that you'll be able to put stuff on top of your camper top. So uh, yeah, I could buy some bars. Uh, they make them aftermarket for it, my truck and uh, they're like 60 or 70 bucks. I haven't looked at them in a while, but they're pretty expensive. So I decided to make make a pair instead. So what we have is a 10 foot piece of Unistrut and you can find this at your hardware store. This is the thinner one though. They make one that's, that's thicker uh, this way. Uh, I bought the thin one because I wanted it to be kind of low profile and it's lighter weight. The thicker one's quite a bit heavier. So like I said, this is a 10 foot piece. I'm going to cut this thing with the angle grinder right smack in the middle. So I'll have two five foot sections. And another reason why I chose to use this Unistrut as roof rack bars is because see it has these all these holes through it. Well, that those are perfect slots for ratchet strap tie downs. So your tie down points are pretty much fully adjustable. You can just tie it down anywhere you need to. So uh, let's get started. take a file and clean these up a little better. What I'm gonna actually do is, instead of just painting these with some black spray paint, I'm gonna use uh, some spray can bed liner that I've actually got. So, so hopefully it turns out good. We're gonna get them prepped. Uh, I'm gonna take some sandpaper, some Scotch-Brite, rough this up, and uh, and then I'm gonna file these edges down and then we'll, we'll get to painting. take a dry cloth and just wipe these down. I'm just going to use an old sock. All right, now don't don't skip out on prepping these things. Uh, Scuffing this up is going to help that bed liner stick to this thing way better than if you didn't prep it. So take the time, scuff it up real good. Be sure you got all the burrs off of the edges. And uh, 
let's get to spraying this bed liner. So what I'm using is just Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. Uh, I'm only using this because that's what I got sitting on the shelf. I bought it for a different project and ended up not using it. So that's what we're going to use for this and uh, hopefully it holds up good. All right, so I'm going to start with the, the tops. That's the main thing I want covered right now. And then uh, we'll let that dry. I'll flip them over and then I am going to do the underside as well. So that's our first coat. It's real light. You don't want to just soak this thing in paint. So uh, you can still see some of the bare metal through the paint. That's okay. First coat needs to be like that. So uh, we'll let this dry. We'll come back, put a second coat on it, and then uh, possibly even a third coat, and then we'll flip them over and do the underside. Stay tuned. Our final coat on the bars is drying. I'm up here on uh, my camper top. I just wanted to show you uh, these rails here and uh, you can see my rails have these slide things inside of them well they've got a threaded hole and so I bought some bolts that will thread right into here and uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna bolt them up alright so uh, my mounting system for this just got a two inch bolt with the exact threads that are uh, that that hole is threaded with. It's actually metric. It's a M6-1. I've got a washer on the outside. I put a washer on the inside. And then I had to put a smaller washer uh, just because the hole was big on this washer. And then I've got a nylon nut. I hope you can see that. Now I just tighten this nylon nut down. Now I tightened it down, but I didn't tighten it too tight because I've still got to turn this bolt to thread it in to my roof on my camper top so it, it still needs to be able to spin but it needs to spin snugly uh, I'm gonna get it installed and then I'll show you what it looks like so I've got it mounted I hope you can see how it goes through and into that little uh, sliding mechanism there with the threaded hole uh, it's got just a little bit of overhang I still have clearance. It's not hitting the camper top. And that's about as low profile as you can go. And I did the same thing to this side. And you can see I'm I'm pushing down pretty hard. As hard as I can at this angle. And this thing is just barely flexing. This unit struts some strong stuff. And now I just gotta do the front up here. I'll put it on and then I'll show you all uh how you can just strap stuff down and what it looks like when it's done. So we got them installed, uh, both the front and rear. I went ahead and uh, sprayed my screws and washers with the bed liner as well. I just uh, threw some cardboard under it and uh, gave it a quick spray on all of them. And uh, it looks good. It turned out how I wanted. Uh, hopefully it works good. I'll be putting my kayak on here soon, so uh, I'll uh, take a video on how I do that and how I strap it down. And uh, so like and subscribe.